Okay, how are we doing guys? This is Gordicamp and this is starting up the new Google Nexus 5 for the very first time. So, I have my very lovely Nexus 5 phone here. Um, literally, what? well, as part of the, the phone, you would have received a small key that looks much like this. Um, we need to find where the SIM card is going on the phone. So, on this phone, it looks like it's just here underneath the power button, which is a change because the Nexus 4 it was a bit further down the phone. So get your key and literally just pop that in there and what should happen is the little SIM card slot should pop out. Once that's popped out, literally all you have to do is just turn your SIM card around so it's in the right direction and it slots nicely into that mini drawer, I'll call it. And then, quite simply, just pop it back in. And once that's secure and that's in. So once that's done, let's boot the phone up. Hold the power button down. And the phone should start. So we've got a bit of a different start by the looks of it from the Nexus 4. Yeah, it's definitely a new start than we used to have on the Nexus 4. Okay, so now we have the welcome screen. Okay, so we have the welcome screen. Uh, would you like to receive new settings for your um, Virgin picture messaging? Okay, I would. Um, you choose your language, so I would have English United Kingdom. And then it will activate. So it now searches for a Wi-Fi network. Literally, all you have to do is choose the Wi-Fi network that you have. I have got mine here. So I will just pop my password in, if you bear with me a second. And connect. So once you're connected, it will ask if you want a system update. So, continue. Okay, this could take up to five minutes. So let's just see how long it takes. Now I'm assuming this update will be for the KitKat operating system, which is the new one, which should have been released at the same time as the phone. Okay, so it's almost downloaded and then it should restart the phone once it's done. Installing system update. This actually takes a bit longer than the Nexus 4 did. And it restarts again. Once it's installed the system update. I love that funky new start that it's got. It's fabulous. So starting up the Nexus 5 has already been 10 minutes in. Um, so make sure you've got the time to actually do the setup before you actually start.